Well, we're squash bug hunting. I do this once a day during the squash bug season to look underneath the leaves for eggs and anything that might have hatched before I caught it and I smush them. So I'm gonna take you guys along with the process. I do it 100% hands-on. I don't spray. Um, I've tried that in the past and, and I failed to keep up on it. And over the last couple years, I found that hands-on. And I know it's not feasible for everyone that has like large pots, but for me, small scale, I'm easily able to manage the squash bugs by just checking my plants daily and then keeping them under control. So we're gonna go squash bug hunting today and I'm gonna take you guys along with, and if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with you. This is a telltale sign where I have found squash bug eggs underneath and I pinch out the leaf and those little spots and then mush it in my finger. The possible start of one of our geet pumpkins. Uh, I guess I have to wait and tell if you got pollinated appropriately, but they get really, really, really big. So we're watching those super closely. already pulled off quite a lot on this plant already so we're just in maintenance control right now this is one of my um, straw bell gardens I have two of them that have my zucchini plants yellow crookneck squash pumpkins patty pan squashes I walked right up to it and lo and behold, we have, and I just did this this morning, these weren't here, some squash eggs, squash bug eggs. So I just brush them off and I just smush them in my hand and throw them on the ground. They, they don't have anything to live off of and survive. And roly polies and things like that will just come and eat them. I don't know what I'll eat them, but maybe the frogs but they so far seem to really like in these two plots, my patty pan squash and my yellow crookneck squash. So far I haven't found too many on my zucchini plants or my pumpkins. So they have a preference of what they like for sure. And if you don't know what a squash bug looks like, I'll see if I'm not lucky enough to find a baby or an adult and show you. Um, babies kind of look like tiny little spiders that have a little gray body and adults look kind of pretty similar to a stink bug is what I call them. They look very similar to stink bugs. Oh, found some more. So I just take them and smush them off. They, from what I found is they really like working in these crevices of the leaves and laying eggs in here. So you really have to look underneath your leaves really well. So I know some people that prefer to use the BT spray might be watching me and saying, oh, that's so much additional work. Just use BT spray, but guys, I have to like kind of contend with you a little bit because if you're gonna use BT spray, you have to lift up your leaves anyway and spray underneath them. And so I'm not having to mix anything up. I'm still lifting up my leaves, looking underneath them. It's really no additional work, honestly. Oh, found some more. Look right there. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Squash vine, baby. Oops, he left. Dang it. It oh, was white. Yeah, kind of whitish gray they are. So when they're down here, they're very hard to get. So I kind of just pull the leaf bits out. And make a little hole in the leaf. It won't hurt it. There's still plenty to grow. And you're going to notice that on 
several where there's little holes in my leaves. And that's what I've done. I've just gone through and plucked a little piece out if I couldn't just easily roll them off. And you do want to check your stems too because they can lay down the stems. We got lots of baby zucchini in there. Nice. These leaves are so pretty. So lots of squash bugs on this one. This is actually my pumpkin. I think it's the first time I've found them on the pumpkin. I'm just gonna take those off. And I have, stay tuned, I have one in my hand that is a baby, a juvenile. Okay, there's some air. Get those off. Okay, this is a baby squash vine borer. I kind of smushed them, sorry. He's like a little gray body. Yep, he's gonna die. Now I kind of just know when the season is just after years of experience, it's always that week after July 4th, like I start really checking. Like look, I'm finding them so much now. And honestly, I just did this this morning, but I did not check my pumpkin vines. So I just get out here once a day. You have to stay that up on it. And maybe that's the difference in the benefit of BT is that you don't have to do it as regularly. But I don't mind. I like spending time in the garden. Here's a good example of them laying on the stalk. Another baby. Tiny, tiny little babies. They just, oh, look at all those. Those are great. Good example. Those are squash bugs. Just run your fingers over them and smush them. Can I tell you what? This yellow squash is the pickeriest squash. Cuts my arm up every single time. Oh, I wonder if they're almost invisible when they're first laid <laughs> and then they turn brown. I don't know how they show up that fast. I just found the mom. That's what they are. Do your guys' squash bugs look like that? That's what mine look like. And that's the culprit. Now watch. No more. Die, sucker. It's very hard to find them. Oh, wow, smell. Ugh. No. I think it smells like, like pledge or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's very hard to find the parents that are doing, doing the deed. So to, to find them is cool. But, you know, if you don't find all those babies that hatch, they just become mamas. And so that's why I try to stay up on the egg hatching so that there's not a chance for them to become adults. And the season is only so long that they're actually doing their laying and reproduction. So if you can get yourself through that season, you're gonna end up with squash plants that make, make it till fall for you. Um, and last year, I was able to do that successfully for the very first time ever by two things. Wrapping the bases of my plants, um, which I can show you probably. Here, come here. 
So here's an example of wrapping the bases of my plants with athletic tape. Last year I used pantyhose to protect from the squash vine borers. And then when squash bug season comes, just staying on top of the he egg hatching. Um, and so far so good. So far so good. So tell me, share all your tips down below on protecting your squash plants. If it's BT, that's great. I'm glad it works for you. And I'm sure other people will all in the community learn from we, what we all have to share on what our best tips are. Mine is 10 minutes in the garden, walking through, squashing all the eggs, picking off anything that's hatched. If I'm lucky enough to find an adult, kill it. And um, see, still more. We're finding them all the time. And uh, that's what I do. Just pinch them off, squish them, throw them on the ground. And hopefully we'll win the battle. And it happens every single season. I have yet to have a season without this pressure. So it's just part of nature. So happy growing, happy gardening where you are. And I wish you all the best in your gardening. Talk to you guys later. Look at this pumpkin! Oh my gosh! Wow! How exciting! Oh, that's so beautiful! Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> so proud. I think I'm gonna win on the pumpkin growing this year because I started my pumpkins. Look at him down there. Um, because I started so early.